Okay, so I'll just give you a tour of the room now. You have all just seen the desk, so we'll move over here. And this is my second computer. This is the computer which pretty much got me into making this desk. I, I enjoyed sort of putting this one together and I had help from a friend to put that together because I really had no idea about putting computers together and you know doing that it's just yeah helps me out a lot and it's definitely gave me some interest towards computer modding so yeah let's just have a quick close-up of the desk and this computer setup and I'll just move this chair out of the way okay so over here we have the Astro A40s with the mix amp that's very nice 7.1 surround sound so yeah, they work very well, and I'm pretty happy with, with them. This is just the Exona Phoebus sound card box. Um, we've already seen that inside the desk, so we'll just skip that. I have my Beats headphones in there. Got the uh, two of them there, and I also... That's just the box for my R18-9 computer mouse. Which, yeah, that w works very well. Here we have a Logitech Extreme 3D Pro joystick. Uh, I've had a lot of fun with this. This works very well. And, yeah, this is just the fun sort of option to have if you just want to try something different. Here in this box, I have a, an Xbox controller. So if I just put this, I'll just put the camera down for a second, get it out and show you guys. Okay, so I'm pretty sure this is called the Razer Sabertooth. Uh, it's a very, very nice controller, lights up. Um, I use this with the computer, actually. There's a program called X, X Patter, I believe it's called. And you can sort of keybind all your keys to whatever you like and yeah so that's pretty fun to use anyone who you know plays battlefield or whatever you play on the xbox you could you could customize all your keys to you know to suit your xbox configuration and use this with your computer so yeah that works very well and that's very fun to use if i just want to lay down in bed and and just you know play from there so yeah that's very nice very nice to have there what is this oh this is just the weights for my g500 mouse it's no big deal here we have a i can't quite remember what these are called but yeah, it's from Razer. Um, I keybind all my buttons to this when I'm playing some World of Warcraft or, you know, whatever I want to play. So, yeah, that works very well. Lights up a nice blue, blue colour. Um, but you can change, you can change it to whatever colour you want. So you get green or red or, yeah, so that's a nice option to have there. Works very well. Here is a very old Razer headset that I have. Um, that'll just be used for my second computer now for anyone that wants to use it when they come over you know I've forgotten mates or something to come over it's nice to just have a extra pair of sort of headphones for them so yeah that's that's that now I'm a very very big hard style fan love DEFCON and yeah so there's just a couple of my DEFCON CDs um, yeah it, it's not extremely extremely popular over the um whole world but you know i i quite enjoy it so yeah that's just a few hard style cds up the top here we just have a few sort of cheap cheapish uh, speakers you know they, they work well it's just it's just a spare computer so we don't need anything over the top they work very well here we have my laser machine so yeah that's pretty good it's got a few sort of 
control options and um, yeah, I, I love the lasers. Turn the turn this room into a rave room at night, you know. <laughs> can't go out can't go out clubbing. You just come in here, turn the lasers and the lights on and pump some hard style. So that's, yeah, that's pretty good. Here we have a music RGB LED controller. Uh, yeah, that allows you to, that works with this LED controller here, changes it to whatever color you want, on and off. You can dim it, you can go flash or fade, and you can go sound activated, which is a very nice option to have if, um, if that's what you want. Okay, over to the computer. This is a 27 inch AOC screen, as you can see there. I love the screens that don't have the huge chunky borders around them, so I try and buy them all the time. Um, yeah, so very happy with that one. Underneath we have two subwoofers and a lot of cables. Um, cables aren't neat at the moment because obviously I've been doing a lot of computer stuff and I'm sort of, you know, messing around a lot with my computers. So, you know, when everything's totally finished, that'll all be, all be gone. Around the back of the computers we have my LEDs, which I will turn on for you and I'll turn the lasers on for a second. Okay, so as you can see here, here are all my LEDs. I have some red LEDs underneath the desk and I have RGB LEDs surrounding the desk. Um, that's my laser there on top, which is uh, projecting this all over the room, which looks very nice. Yeah, so they're my LEDs. Um, over here, just underneath here, just a, a turntable, you know, just for any sort of music or anything I want to try and work on. It's very nice, my girlfriend got me that, and yeah, I'm very, very happy with that. Obviously, I'm not a professional d DJ or anything, but you know, this is something fun to play around with, and yeah, it does the job very well. Over here we have a Razer keyboard. I can't remember which one it is, but uh, yeah, that just changes colors and all that. It's not mechanical or anything. It's probably two years old or something like that. And here we have the Logitech G500 mouse. It's a very nice mouse and just a small Razer mouse pad, which works very well. Down here we have my second computer. It is a Coolmaster case, has a fan controller and the mil military switches on it. Uh, inside is a 4770K i7 processor. It boots up at 1.2 volts, 4.6 gigahertz. So it has nice overclocking potential. Um, it's currently not water cooled, but when I do water cool it, I'll actually try and overclock this uh, CPU further. But for now, temperatures are just too dangerous with the stock air cooling, so we're not going to overclock it at the moment. So yeah, it's a very nice, very nice uh, computer I have here. It's got a GTX 780 in it and has a 120 gigabyte Samsung SSD and the Asus Extreme 4 motherboard and two terabytes of Western Digital black hard drive storage. It also has Windows 8.1 and yeah, so it's a, it's a nice build. Works very well. You know, you can play most games on high and some on ultra. So yeah, that's a it's a nice nice computer to have. Okay, so now that I've finished with the uh, room tour, I'm just going to show you that I have so many leftover parts, which is why I'm going to be doing a, another sort of cabinet build this time. So, there's, you know, there's parts in almost every single drawer in my room. Got parts in there, got 
parts in here if it focuses you know different thermal pastes and all of that stuff there's a few acrylic pieces in there and if we go into this wardrobe here you know we have drawers full of you know there's a car amplifier in there a lot of wires there's stuff in this drawer there's oh that's my game drawer so I've got a lot of games in there and down here I have a lot of wires in there so there's plenty of opportunity to make a nice a nice uh, build with um, what we have here if we move over to this side this side of um, the wardrobe here we have four drawers every one of them is just full with LEDs and you know different computer parts and all of that you know fan extensions I've got stuff in there you know more LED lights and controllers and stuff and you know up here we've got some more distilled water different sort of water blocks and you know we've got CPU stuff in there got acrylic and what do we got we got fan grills got some more wire we've got uh, you know fan controllers a lot of stuff in there and up here next shelf these are my water blocks for my four GTX 780 Ti's they'll be going on when everything else arrives in the mail in there we have more acrylic and just some you know some fan grills and and uh, dust filters and stuff in there which is uh, very nice got another thousand watt power supply by Corsair in there RM series I have two two XSPC reservoirs in there and I have one out out um, where I'm building the other um, my other computer mod just to sort of test fit everything so yeah that's very nice and up here I've got some acrylic tubes in that that long tube there a lot of carbon fiber wrap left over and just bags and bags full of fittings and adapters and yeah so there's a there's a lot of stuff left over so I'm pretty keen on making another build a nice red and black theme so how about I take you out to the other build now and I'll just give you a quick look at quick glimpse of that and yeah so you can get an idea of what I'm sort of planning and what's coming up okay guys so here we are where my a lot of other sort of computer parts are um, gave that laptop to my mum for a birthday so I hope she enjoys that and made that table as well <laughs> here we have the uh, rough sort of scribble of what I want to do with my cabinet that part there that says I'm face roll is it's a bit of acrylic it's my gaming name that'll be stuck on there so yeah this will look very nice and yeah very very happy with that here's my test power supply it's just some rubbish 400 watt power supply and another sort of tube reservoir excess PC that's just to test fit everything a bird flying around don't mind her <laughs> and here we have a lot of sort of goodies in this box a motherboard tray hard drive DVD drive and a lot of pieces of acrylic and fans and yeah more sort of neon lights so yeah that's that and here's this cabinet that I picked up for very cheap it's um it's a wreck at the moment but you know I'll fix that up see all of this crap comes off and there was a lock in there I pulled that out because it was just terrible um, I'll stick a power reset switch in there and drill another one so yeah I've got both power and reset switches in here we have shelves and stuff like that I have two CD trays that can go in there but they're not going to be going in there I've got to make some shelving in there and so this thing will close and my power supplies will be sitting in there 
around the edges I'm going to have some nice metal sheeting which I'm going to I'm going to paint this whole thing a nice matte black and yeah as you are seen with the drawing if you can sort of make it out I'm going to have three reservoirs on the side here and the motherboard at the back so there's a lot of fixing up to be done with this desk but yeah so as you can see there's no board at the back at all so I've got these boards here which I've got to stick on there and then I'm going to make some more shelving inside it so that's where it's at at the moment um, we'll see what we can do with it and yeah so I'm pretty excited to start this next build so yeah I'm just going to take you to the garage and show you some some more things that I have which I could possibly add to one of these builds I could put it with the desk or I could add it to this new build that I want to work on so yeah we'll go to the garage okay guys so in here um, I have some spare 12 inch subwoofers I could do something with these could add them to my new build or to my my uh, desk mod this is a 12 inch sound stream subwoofer and on the back here we have a JVC amplifier so yeah this is a nice nice looking speaker I could add um, here we have a Clarion 12 inch subwoofer the, um, aesthetics wise I've, I've not it's not the best looking um, but you know we've got it lying around just clean it up a bit and yeah it could work well and over the back here we have a another 12 inch clarion subwoofer which came out of my car um, it's got a nice amplifier on the back there and yeah it's falling apart a bit you would, would have to fix that up but yeah so there three sort of options I could have with the desk and yeah so we'll have a think about that thanks for watching guys um, I hope you had fun sort of seeing my room seeing my setup seeing uh, how the desk looks and I hope you're interested in the new project I'm about to start I know I'm pretty in interested and I'm pretty pumped to get it going as I said I've got a lot of spare parts that I will be putting into this new new um, PC mod so yeah very very happy with that and I can't wait to you know start and get it out to you guys so if you if you like what you've seen if you like what I'm doing like what I'm working on please leave a like and subscribe and visit my Facebook page and my build log and just help me out and chuck chuck me a like and yeah so for now this is how it how it stands thanks guys